So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Telescope Learnings and in this series of tutorial we'll talk about C programming. Okay, now there might be different type of people looking at this video. So maybe you are fresher or you are very new to programming. Maybe you have your, you, I mean C is your first language in your college. Maybe you, you heard about something about C programming, you want to know about C programming. So this video is all about what is C programming and why you should learn it. Okay, there's also a chance that you wanted to learn Java and then you watched my video on Java, you felt you know you should know C first because in one of my video I mentioned that first you have to learn C and then you have you can go for Java. So this is this is the right place. So basically this is a playlist of some videos, approximately 30, 30 videos where you can learn C programming from start to end. Okay, so this is the first video of that. This is the playlist uh, first video. So if you're not watching this video in the playlist, make sure you search for the playlist so that so that you can watch this video there. Okay, because after this video, we'll, we'll be starting with the practical implementation. So this video is not that important compared to those videos, right? But this is base for those videos, how to learn. Okay, so let's start with the basics. What is why they came up with the concept of C programming? So it all started in 1951 when someone thought about let's create a language using which you can interact with the computer. So they, they came up with the concept of assembly language. Uh, then, you know, the problem with assembly was uh, it, if you want to add two numbers, you have to say add a comma b. So it, those, it will add those two values. It is easy, of course. But let's say if you are making a software and if you have a bunch of lines, if you want to go back, we have to use some something called as go-to statement or uh, some labels and that was not a better way of programming, right? So they thought, okay, let's go for some other languages. Let's say if you want to use, if you want to build a scientific applications, maybe some calculations, all those stuff, they came up with the concept of Fortran. So Fortran basically means you have to work with, uh, Fortran stands for formula translation, right? So that means you, you want to work with scientific applications, you can go for Fortran. Then they came up with the concept of COBOL. Now COBOL stands for Common Business Oriented Language, which means if you want to get into or if you want to build a business application, COBOL is good for you. But then in 1968 somewhere, there was a guy called as Ken Thompson. Now Ken Thompson is very famous. He's currently working for Google. Uh, he's the founder of Go Language, if you don't know about him. So he's the founder of Go Language. He is the founder of B Language. So at that time, uh, so he, he was he was working on a B language concept, so B language basically. And so Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson, they came up with the concept of B language. But later on they felt, you know, B is good, so B language is good, but it's, it doesn't have all the features. At the same time, we were having one more language called BCPL. So B language was there and BCPL was there. But then Ken Thompson was working on Unix. He wanted to rebuild the Unix OS, but this time using high level language. How do you build a programming? How do you build a system? Or how do you build a, a, a OS with a high level language? So B was not perfect. BCPL was not perfect. So they came up with the concept of C language. So C has all the features with, which is there in B and BCPL, but it is one of the, I mean, this was the complete language. So when they came up with the concept of C, they wanted to build a complete language using which they can make any kind of software, maybe networking applications, maybe uh, OS, maybe some softwares. So they wanted to build the complete application and that's why they came with the concept of C language. And the founders of C is Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson. Okay, it's not just Dennis Ritchie. So, and then uh, C got famous because it, it was the complete language and that's why they say C is the mother of all the languages. Because current trend we are using Java, we are using C sharp, we are using C++, all these languages are base. I mean all these languages base is C programming. So if you know C programming it is very easy to learn all these languages plus you know programming. You know you can proudly say you know programming. So make sure if you, if you love C watch the entire series and let me know your comments about the if you if you get stuck with any of the video let me know how you're thinking about it maybe i will make i will make one more video on that uh, so that's it make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video if you liked it thank you so much for watching